In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite blitzing concepts out of the nickel triple formation. This is what I call the contain edge looping pressure. I think this is very, very effective against gun bunch, specifically any formation that is going to primarily pick up pressure through blocking their running back, um, or they only have like one tight end. This is a really, really good set. So anything like U trips, Y trips, gun tight, pretty much any of the meta offenses, this blitz is gonna be very, very effective for. Now you can also, what I like about this is that I can do this out of any play in the formation. So in this example, we're gonna be showing you this blitzing concept out of the cover three sky now be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel we upload new videos every single day to the youtube channel here uh, to try to help people become better madden players we post probably i would say i would argue we post the best blitzes in the madden community um we try to give you the most up-to-date blitzing concepts you possibly can get uh, i spend a ton of time working on this stuff so if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to do that and i also am talking today about the nickel triple defense which i think is probably the best every single down defense in the entire game so if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive ebook i'm going to put a link to that in the pinned comment below so just head on down to the comments you'll be able to see the link down there and you can click that and go pick up the ebook so the nickel triple cover three sky is what we're going to be going over and the setup is really simple we're going to show blitz and then from there all we're going to do is we're going to blitz the safety on the left you see right here he's blitzing now we could leave this pressure like this but my preference is to go ahead and qb contain and then I'm gonna slide him in until he is on the contain. Okay, so you see that right there? And then I like to use this linebacker and basically stand kind of right in here. And what you're gonna see is at the snap of the ball, we're gonna get incredible pressure, five man pressure. Now, that's a good blitz and it would be a good blitz. And I'm gonna show you here for just a second. I wanna show you one other thing. I'm gonna go ahead and max protect my bunch. So I'm gonna block the running back and I'm gonna block the tight end. And again, I'm gonna do the exact same setup. I'm just basically blitzing the guy, putting him on a contain, coming in and standing right here. And what you'll see is oftentimes you're gonna get this pressure to come off the edge. Let me show you that one more time. And then we're gonna go into, I think an advanced version of this blitz that you're really gonna fall in love with. So again, just show blitz, blitz the safety, QB contain, and then you're gonna slide this guy in off of the edge, just like that right there. Stand kind of right here. I'm gonna max protect. And at the snap of the ball, as you see, and I guess the, the contain blitz is being a little wonky. Um, I will say occasionally the contain blitz is a little bit finicky in terms of placement. So, you know, part of that's on me for getting the placement proper. So again, let me just get this guy in maybe a little bit more. And then I need to kind of get down here a little bit and kind of make sure I'm creating that edge. But as you see, right, and that's more of what you're going to consistently get, that looping concept. Now, and that's against Gun Bunch Max Protect. So they we sent five, they blocked seven, and we got pressure. So now I want to take this concept a step further, and we're actually going to show you how to get this blitz concept to work very effectively for you by only sending two people. Okay, so there's the contain, and then all we're going to do is we're going to start dropping players. So we're going to drop our defensive end on the backside. We're going to drop our nose tackle uh, into coverage. I oftentimes like to man one of those guys up on the tight end for any delay fade uh, potential. So you see here, here's a three-man pressure, and as you see right there, we're going to get some pressure. Especially if they don't block anybody, the pressure is pretty much guaranteed if they don't block anybody. If they max protect, then you have to be a little bit finicky, like I said, with your placement. I really like to get this guy like super close if possible. So you see here, he's pretty close. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to, um, we're just going to max protect. So the beauty of this is you can Mabel on the backside. It creates a perfect window for you to Mabel, man up the delay fade. Pretty good coverage, honestly. Now they're going to max protect. And as you see, that contain is going to fight in off the edge. Now right there we did get picked up, but you do see the concept starting to form. So a couple of other things that we can do to make this super, super good, especially if our opponent is blocking their running back. The second thing that we can do to kind of guarantee pressure is if we take this guy right here and man him up on the running back. You know, that to me is the easiest way to make this work because if the running back goes on a route, we're going to have him manned up. If he doesn't go on a route, then, you know, we're going to be able to really dumb out the running back blocking, as you can see right there. So let me show you that one more time. And again, this is two-man pressure sending, and they're blocking, they're only blocking seven. Or, uh, or we're only sending two, and they're blocking seven people. Um, now, I will say, like I said, the less people they block, the more consistent this is going to be. But I will tell you that with a pretty good amount of consistency, I've been able to get this pressure to work in-game 
pretty good, especially against Max Protect. So again, just do this. There you see there's that contain concept looping around, and that's your two-man pressure out of the nickel triple. So I'll show that to you a couple more times here uh, to show you that it is actually fairly consistent. It just comes down to where you place this guy. You don't want to get him too close, but you also don't want to get him too far away, which is kind of a, a little bit of a, you know, kind of a, a challenge. So anyways, this blitz is truly one of my favorite blitzes because it's so good. It's definitely going to come in if they don't max protect. If they do max protect, it becomes it comes down to getting that concept where I talk about where you're getting that contained looping pressure. Um, unless you want to man this guy up. If you man that, that, um, that linebacker on the left, if you man him up on the running back, I will say that it definitely increases the consistency of the pressure, specifically if they block a running back. So you see right here, there's the contained concept, and as you see, we're getting instant pressure at the quarterback. The nickel triple, in my opinion, is one of the most balanced defenses in the game. You're able to get consistent pressure, um, pretty much sending two, three, four, five, six. We even have some really, really good A-gap pressure out of this formation as well. So if you want to learn my entire nickel triple defense, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. I will tell you that if there's one defensive ebook that I would recommend you watch, that's not only going to teach you a defense, but it's going to teach you how to think about defense, and it's going to teach you how to blitz at a very high level. I would really encourage you to get the nickel triple defense. It's only $15. There's going to be a link down in the comment section that I'm going to pin in the comments for you, and you can go ahead and get that defense for yourself and start locking people down. It's got great run defense, and I'm, in my opinion, it's got the best blitzing concepts in the entire game.